Turn on the torch, light up the flames, time to melt some glass, my friend. There you are, here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. Well, it looks like another day of things adding onto the cutting room floor instead of me actually doing the job. Again, more technical fugalties and trying out different phones to do the job. I've got three that I've been playing with back and forth and uh, some of them have some interesting uh, what you see here is what I did on the last video and I will actually do one right here right now I think I've got just enough brown glass to do the job this is from the um, the video uh, I broke some ground uh, a beer bottle right on screen uh, when I did my uh, demo and teaching on Saturday, the live demo, um, anyway, I broke up some beer bottles, uh, a beer bottle and a wine bottle and a blue beer bottle, I guess it was premium something or rather. Anyway, uh, I melted down the brown, made some rods out of it, and if you'd like, matter of fact, that's what I will do. Uh, real quick um, so that you guys can see how it starts out I am going to uh, to uh, light up the torch and melt I'll melt this one for you this piece of the brown beer bottle and yes I didn't heat up warm that in this here in my right hand is one of the beer bottle rods that I made up already for the tree. Uh, now that I'm touching two, and this one over here in my that's in my fingers of my left hand is soft glass, not warmed. That's why I'm warming it in right now. Oh, oh, still shattering. That's the thing about soft glass when you're don't know where it comes even even when you know where it comes from soft glass tends to stress out crack and shatter okay that's not a bad thing you just got to know the nature of your beast that's all and uh, I tell you I've, I've worked so many different types of glass from lead glass you making neon signs to um, to uh, when I first started which was beer bottles and soda bottles and stuff so I understood the principle of those and I also uh, uh, love Boro is my main stay in life I'll have to tell you that uh, I also worked with quartz which is even on the other end of the scale from Boro than Boro is to um, soft glass okay that meaning that Boro is COE 33 uh, quartz is like um, 3 or 4 or less I don't know what that is, but somebody could probably tell me. Now that's what I, I just made. That's what I did to make all of these. I melted down the rod, or, or melted down the the um, the piece of glass, warmed it in like I did, and then melted it down into a rod that I can use. Now what what I'm going to go from there is make you another tree, and I'm going to use this one on my right side as the where I'm going to do the base okay and you got to keep it warm when you're walking working soft glass all the way around you got to keep it warm otherwise it can crack and shatter on you at a mo a, a blink of an eye it'll do it because that's the nature of this beast and when you're working soft glass make sure you melt the same to the same like if you're working with um, oh dang it let me take a, never around when you want them uh, make sure you're working with if you're working with um, bullseye glass make sure you work all of bullseye because that way you know for sure that you're not stressing out and it could crack where you make a weld like right here where I'm doing if it was two different types of glass it has different um, COE which is expansion no coefficient of expansion and contra uh, contraction Contract 
track and expand. Anyway, okay, not to be confused with CEO, uh, uh, CEO, which is your boss. Or if you work for yourself, then you're uh, your own CEO. Okay, never mind. Um, now with the branches, that's right here where I made this right angle is going to be one limb. And I'm going to go up just a little, but I'm going to go back, make several limbs come off of that general location to begin with. Because A, it's nice and warm right now, and B, less stress when you do it all at once. <laughs> kind of hard to explain, easy to do. Only through practice. And as you can see, I let it cool a little bit and go up, and let it cool a little bit and go out. It, it, it's, it's just a little bit of patience going on here. Nature of the beast. Okay. I'm only going to put three limbs on this one. Oh, I heard a crack. I think it was from where I'm doing the cold well at the bottom there. Okay. There we go. I'll bring that one up a little bit and out. Now, oops, yep, it was a cold well right where I was holding on to it, so that's not a bad thing. Oh, come on, Graceful. All right, Graceful. Here we go. Doop. Get back to what we're doing. Now, every place that you put a right angle is a good place to melt another branch. And as long as it's pretty thin and not really heavy duty sick and stressed out, you can go back into that same location and put another little branch. See there? Like right here is a good place for a branch. You heat them up together. Make sure you're putting them that they're not sticking two pieces of glass together, but you're making it one piece of glass. It's very, very important. And here, here's another little bend. I'm going to put one going a little further up and high. Okay. There we go. Keep melting. Are you with me so far? I think I did this with Mountain Dew bottle glass a little while back. But I haven't done it with any other soft bottles. I say soft and I mean as far as when it melts. Okay. Okay. Let's Put another limb here. It's got a bend. There you go. And you can put another little bend, uh, another limb. Let's see, where was that? Hello. There it is. Another one here. Okay. That's going to be the, the extent of this tree. It's a simple one. It's like uh, one that you would see in midwinter. <laughs> and if you don't like the angle or the limbs, you got to warm the whole thing. Make sure it's all nice and warm. But you can play with them. You can play with those limbs and reshape them and put them in another direction. Let me show you. And as you can see, I'm warming the whole thing up and it's looking pretty good. Um, I have to excuse this. I had, I did the. Uh, the uh, uh, video where I had the the encapsulation going on with the mustard seeds and those little pieces of wire were to hold on to the tube so that I could uh, not have to put a cold weld on it after I put the mustard seed in. Anyway. Okay. Like, for example, if you wanted to Change the angle a little bit. Looks like I can put another little limb on there. Okay. Would think I will. Now this has been setting down out of the flame, so it could stress out and pop too. So I'm going to warm it back in. 
slightly. And then right where I made that right angle turn, I'm going to add another limb. Okay. And stretch it up. Because they usually, you know, limbs are reaching towards higher than the actual base of the tree. Okay. And yes, I usually do forks all the way around. I'm sorry. And sometimes I don't. It all depends on how I'm feeling. Again, I think I like the way these limbs are working. And now I'm going to work on the root system. Okay. And the root system some, sometimes can be a little bit more complicated than the actual tree. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to um, put about three or four limbs at the root bit system so that it works and stands without falling over. Okay. Again, what I'm using is beer bottle. I couldn't tell you the, the brand of the beer bottle, but usually brown glass is a little bit more resilient than some of the others. Wine bottle tends to stress out a little bit. Beer bottle you, you can only play with it. You can only play with those different styles and different flavors if you want to go that route and just experiment without spending a lot of money. But be warned, it stresses out and it can explode. I'm going to reference in my, um, at the bottom of the video here, um, when I was teaching uh, Renee Shepard and her husband Lauren, uh, just the other day is when I broke this bottle down anyway. Um, I heated up because the wine bottle was not cooperating to be, you know, just broken down. So I heated it up and tried to stress it out so that it would break that way. And I want you to watch that video at least up to that point because you can see what happens to uh, glass if you just try to heat it into the flame without warming it in properly. Okay? Now, back to what I'm doing. Usually a tripod works. This time I've got like about four. They're okay. I warm, I warmed it in at the base to so make sure it works. And then I am now going to flatten it so that it will stand. And now I'll nip off where I'm holding off the cold weld. Okay. And you have one. Actually, I have. No, I, I'm getting into the orchard here. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. And enjoy your day.